Thrust and Pressure When you fix a poster on a bulletin board, you need to press drawing pins with your thumb. You apply force on the surface area of the head of the pin, which is directly perpendicular to the surface area of the board. The force acting on an object perpendicular to the surface is called as thrust. Thrust is a vector quantity. The unit of thrust is same as the unit of force, that is Newton. A body always exerts a force equal to its weight on any surface supporting it. The effect of this force on the surface depends on the area on which it is spread. That is why when you stand on a loose sand, your feet goes deep into the sand. But on the other hand, if you lie down on the sand, your body does not go that deep into the sand. In both the cases, the force exerted on the sand is the weight of the body, yet its effect is different in both the cases. Why is that so? When you stand on the loose sand, the force that is the weight of your body is acting on an area equal to the area of your feet. When you lie down, the same force acts on an area equal to the contact area of your whole body, which is obviously larger than the area of your feet. We see that the effect of force, thrust, of the same magnitude on different areas is different. Lesser the area, more the effect of the thrust. That means the effect of thrust depends on the area on which it acts. The physical quantity that explains the dependence of thrust on area is pressure. The thrust acting on unit area of the surface is called as pressure. Substituting the SI unit of the thrust and area in the equation, area of pressure is capital N divided by small m raised to the power 2. In the honor of scientist Blaise Pascal, the SI unit of pressure is called as Pascal denoted by PA. The same force acting on a smaller area exerts a larger pressure and a smaller pressure on a larger area. This is the reason why a nail has a pointed tip, knives have sharp edges and buildings have wide foundations.